Art Smith had a vision, and that was simply to understand that every person in Calgary has value, and that there were people on the street that were not getting the same value of being a citizen in Calgary like other people. So his vision was that in such a prosperous city with tremendous talents and an art community and a business community and leaders, no people should be left behind. And he wanted to make a difference. He realized that to be a leader, you have to trailblaze, you have to invest in community, and it's beyond your business. And he began the Calgary Homeless Foundation. Well, I knew Art Smith. He said he was starting this organization. He felt it was very important to get the people off the street. So I went up to him afterwards, because I knew him personally, and said, you know, it would be a good idea if you involved my husband, Hi, who he knew well. And um, that was that. And I, I knew the organization was growing. I followed it in the newspapers. Art was making a difference, and a lot of good things were happening. And that's the legacy of an art smith who said, these people matter. You know, homelessness is where they're at. It's not who they are. And a home is not just a structure. It's not just a house. It's a place where you can go put your head down and rest and feel like you have safety and that you belong. Everybody give it up for G! this Resolve campaign, permanent supportive housing, is being built into this community. It's going to be there in perpetuity. But the spirit of trailblazing and saying, I'm a part of this community, I'm a leader, I'm a business leader, and I make philanthropy and building community a part of being a leader, that's the ripple effect. I received the Legacy Award from the Homeless Foundation in 2017. The bowl has been made by Julia Reimer, who is a local artist and has considered the concept of the ripple effect when she designed this bowl. The recipient this year for the Trailblazer Award is Alan Norris, a community-minded leader. The ripple effect of Alan's work is going to be shown, I think, all across Canada. I think people in other cities are going to emulate what we have done here in Calgary. And Alan, being the trailblazer that he is, has shown the way. As we touched on earlier, the Resolve campaign was a, a, a one-of-a-kind uh, uh, collaboration. Nine agencies uh, coming together to uh, all focused on providing affordable housing. Although the campaign active, uh, actively finished fundraising in March, we raised enough money to house over 1,850 individuals uh, throughout the campaign. First person at the meeting was Alan. The last person to leave was Alan. He was at every single opening. Uh, he did everything that was required of him, but then he went the extra mile and he led by example and uh, that's the type of a person that you really want to have your leader and that's the type of person that is a trailblazer. And a definition of a city in some respects is how you, how you help those most vulnerable and that's just where my passion ended up. But I do believe that uh, a good city doesn't just deal with um, those that can afford uh, things but those who cannot afford and have fallen on hard times. And I still look at it that you're giving a hand up, not a hand out. That's the way I would define it. When you build something, you have to build with the understanding that the people are going to change, right? The donors are going to change, the philanthropic givers, the leaders. But the question is, the people in the system who need the services, are we anticipating their needs? The legacy is what you built in the system for other people you haven't even met yet. Because there will always be those who have and who have not, right? And if we're not helping the have-nots, we're not helping at all. That's a trailblazer.